Hey guys, welcome to my new channel. I am going to start this off by kind of introducing you guys to the channel, things that I have planned for it, and I am hoping to keep a schedule with this one, so I'll let you know the schedule of the days that I'm going to have and things like that. And then also after I do the introduction, I have the first video for you guys, and uh, so let's get started. The schedule that I'm hoping to keep with this channel is I want to try to put up videos five days a week, four days a week, four and five days a week, you'll see. The first Sunday of the month, I'm going to put up my favorites from the month before. So like in December, the first Sunday in December, I'll put up a video of the things that I found in November that were some of my favorite items or things I came across or something like that. Mondays are going to be organizational tips and tricks and things that I do or things that I find that you guys might be interested in. Tuesday is going to be craft day. I'm going to show you things usually that I find on Pinterest that look interesting to me and I want to try. So you'll be seeing me trying it for the first time so you'll kind of see like not a perfected version of whatever craft I try. So you'll see the difficulty, I'll explain how difficult it is or how long it takes, stuff like that. Wednesdays are going to be how-to days. These are things that I've come across in my life that I've had to look up and learn how to do and just things that I think that might be interesting to kind of learn and for you guys and stuff like that. There are going to be some serious ones and some silly ones. I have some things planned. I'm not going to like give anything away. You'll have to just watch them. And then Thursdays are going to be beauty and fashion tips. So we'll see, you know, how everything goes. And if there's anything that you want to see in these categories done, or if there's a whole another category that you would like me to look into, or maybe I know things about, go ahead and just leave them in the comments below and let me know. And, you know, we'll see see where the wind takes us. It'll be great. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm just going to jump in with my favorites video since it is fitting that this is the first Sunday of the month and I think it'll kind of help you get introduced to me a little bit and see some of my favorite things that I've come across. It's not just going to be from last month, it's actually just going to be a collaboration of everything that I have found over the years, just some of my like ultimate favorite stuff. So I'm going to start off with beauty I suppose. Um, the first thing I have is Garnier Fruit Treat, fruit, I can never say this right, Garnier Fructis uh, Style Spray. This is Brilliant Shine. I think I just got this at Target or Walmart, one of the two. This is like a shine spray. This, I like to just like spray this all over my hair after I straighten it or if I don't straighten it. Just, it tames flyaways for me. And it also gives my hair like a silky and smooth gloss and it's so shiny and soft and it's great. I love this stuff. The only thing with this is I have to watch how much I actually put on my hair because if I put too much, it gets a little greasy. Um, but I actually just read on the back of here, I learned that if you get too much of this on your hair, you just take a blow dryer to it and it says that it um, will take off the extra and make it not so greasy. So that's a pretty good thing to know. Learning something new every day. So yeah, this, is, this stuff is really nice. I like it. The second thing I have is from Bath & Body Works. It's the C.O. Bigelow uh, Rose Salve. I have this one in the Rose Salve and the Lavender Salve, and I really like them both. I use this on almost everything. It really helps um, dry skin, so I use it on my lips, on my elbows, on my hands, because in the winter I get pretty dry knuckles and stuff. And this stuff is so nice. It is a little bit greasy um, until it kind of gets absorbed into your skin, but it doesn't really bother me that much. I just have to watch when I'm like on my phone, it'll leave like little grease marks and stuff. But yeah, you can put this stuff everywhere. It says, what does it say? Oh, cuticles. I also put on my cuticles. Um, face lips, cuticles, elbows, knees, and then just keeps going around face, cuticles, elbows. I wouldn't really put this on my face. I have greasy skin, so I feel like it would make my skin even a little bit greasier, so I just mostly put it on my lips and my knuckles and cuticles. This stuff is great. And I have used, actually, I'm almost down to the bottom, so, oh, it smells so good. I forget how good that smells sometimes. The next thing I have is actually... It's a Mary Kay product. I have two Mary Kay products here. And this isn't, I'm not trying to sell anybody on this stuff. Um, I do sell Mary Kay, but 
I just, I absolutely love, love, love these products. Uh, the first one is another lip product. This is the Tinted Lip Balm with Sunscreen SPF 15. They've actually stopped making this. I cannot find it on the website. I can't even find it on my consultant website. It makes me so sad because I love this stuff. Um, but it's in the color Blush. And this gives me a great, just like, natural color to my lips. And it's also very moisturizing. And it would help me when I had capped lips or if there was a day that I didn't want to wear lipstick but wanted like some kind of color. This stuff was great. And then the last beauty product that I have is a perfume from Mary Kay. And this is the Warm Amber perfume. There are four perfumes in this little line. Uh, the other two, well I'd say the other three are probably more summery spring scents, but I really like this one for fall. Warm Amber, it smells so great, and I actually didn't think that I would like it at first, but I love this, and I just like I spray it all over myself all the time, and I probably spray a little bit more than I should, so <laughs> I gotta watch myself sometimes. Moving on, I think I'm gonna move on to some home stuff. I love, 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 love Bath and Body Works candles, the, but I like the Slatkin & Co. ones. I know they have White Barn and Slatkin & Co. These are their summer scents, summer, spring, mostly summer, but these are some of my favorite, favorite scents. So the first one, my absolute favorite scent from them is Pink Sangria. I love this. I think it smells like pink lemonade. And there are some people that disagree with me. They're like, oh, I didn't smell like it. No, it smells like pink lemonade to me. Um, it's supposed to be a refreshing island classic made with juicy raspberries, zesty mandarin, and sugared grapes soaked in brandy. Oh, I could just smell this all day. I love this scent. So, I, I think they should just rename it pink lemonade. That's what it smells like to me. The second scent I have is their Sunrise Lagoon. This one is described like the sunrise on a tranquil lagoon, an uplifting blend of juicy melon and citrus layered with sweet wild jasmine and pink peony. It's just, it's a very clean scent to me. I like to put this one in my bathroom, this scent, and it just, it smells very clean. It's kind of the only way I can describe it. It doesn't smell fruity or anything like that, it just, it's a clean scent. The last one that I actually physically have is Bahama Fizz. Um, I think the only one that I don't have that I really like is the Tiki Beach. That one, love that one too. But anyway, Bahama Fizz. I like the color of this. I just like that little like aqua color. Um, this one is refreshing and delicious, a sparkling cocktail of fresh kiwi, island banana, and orange flower infused with spiced rum. This one smells it's just, it's a fun scent. Like, it's kind of sparkly. Like, it almost smells like it's carbonated. It just kind of tickles your nose, that's all. But this one, this is a fun scent. I actually, I really like to burn these together. I think it gives just like a, just a playful kind of scent. And I, I think they mix really well together. The next thing I have is actually a food item, and I have absolutely fallen in love with this product, if it's possible to fall in love with food. Um, they are the Weight Watchers Giant Chocolate Cookies and Cream, yes, Cookies and Cream um, Ice Cream Bars, and they are so good. Like, I can't even explain to you how good these are. Um, I cannot taste a difference between this and like a regular ice cream bar. This box is more close. Um, I can't taste the difference between this and a regular ice cream bar. And I am like a connoisseur of ice cream. I love ice cream so much. So to have something that tastes just as good as a regular ice cream bar is perfect for me. Um, if you're doing Weight Watchers or anything, they're only four points, which is actually really good. Um, and if you're not, they're actually not terrible for you. Um, I I hazard to say that I might like these a little bit more than regular ice cream only because I don't feel as guilty when I eat these because I know they're not like super bad for me and they're not full of like tons of fat and stuff but these are delicious um 
Scott is actually, I have to credit Scott with finding these. He was the one that picked these out and he loves them and he is very picky about like diety foods because like I have some fat free um, ice cream sandwiches and he says oh that doesn't taste like ice cream but he loves these he eats the crap out of these so they're pretty darn good the next favorite that I have is my daily planner and I don't think I could go anywhere or do anything without this planner I mean I probably could but it'd be really difficult because like everything is in this planner and because it's so gosh darn cute it's giraffe print I love giraffe print who doesn't love giraffe print probably some probably a lot of people out there but I love giraffe print um I got this at Target a couple years ago it's by Franklin Covey and I'm actually a little disappointed because I went to go get new filler paper for it, like for when the new year starts. And Target doesn't have filler paper anymore, like the dates and stuff, because this is, it's got the binder, so you just take the pages out, like when it, they're all done. And I couldn't find, like, the date pages anymore or anything like that. So the woman told me that I'd probably have to go to, like, Staples or something. And I went to Office Max, and they're really expensive, and I really want to not spend a lot of money on, like, date book filler paper. If I have to, I will, but I'll probably end up just buying a regular planner if I can't find anything. Moving on. I have so many lists going in here. Like, I keep lists in this little pocket. I had a bunch of lists that fell out earlier that are just, like, stuck in the day pages and stuff. Um, but yeah, I have everything in this planner. Oh, it's falling out. I have everything in this planner. Like, I have bullet points for every day. Um, I actually even made these little tabs here, um, not these ones, I made the bigger ones, these ones here, and I have one for shopping lists, Mary Kay, um, this new channel, and my vlog channel, and it's just like a bunch of lists, like if I come up with something during the day that I want to try, or a video idea or something, I just jot it down in here, or like to do things that I have to do for like, I don't know, like this was that I had to film and upload an intro video. Did you see that hair fly somewhere? That was weird. Um, I had to film and upload this video, so that's on my to-do list. So now I can check that off, and it's gonna be great. Um, but I have like shopping lists and stuff too. This is like our grocery list that we have to go shopping for. This is just like an ongoing list of things that I want to buy, which continues over here. And then I just have a little pin, and uh, yeah. So that's my planner and love this but I'm afraid that I won't be able to find filler paper so this may just have to be put away for a little bit until I can find some. The last favorite that I have for you guys is actually a game on my phone. Um, it's called Bubble Shoot but for whatever reason I call it Bubble Bop. I don't know how that came about but that's just what I call it. Um, and it's just it's just a game and it's like that game where you have a bunch of different colored bubbles and you have to shoot other bubbles and you have to match up the colors and once you have three colors they disappear and then you have to clear the level yeah that's what this game is and it is totally addicting for me like I can't go a day without playing it I play it when I wake up when I'm getting ready for work when I am on my lunch break when I'm going to bed the time that I play it that I want to play it the most is actually when Scott and I are on car rides and any car ride over 10 minutes I have to be playing this game and I have a feeling that it gets really annoying for him but I love it and it's a great game and it's super addicting and I'm gonna be sad when I beat it alright well I think that is actually all that I have for you guys for my favorites this month I will be doing another favorites video on the first Sunday of December so watch for that one and I probably I won't have a video up tomorrow but I will have one up on Tuesday so watch for that too and I will see you guys then bye